Today I'm going to show you how to root the Nexus 6 on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Let's go do this, baby. First thing you'll want to do is go into settings, right? And go to about phone, right? And you should see Android 6.0, all right? This root method is 6.0. Uh, if you don't see that, check my site, uh, nexus6proot.com, and there should be a latest version for whatever version number. Also, build number MDB08K. Remember your build number, write it down, all right? You're gonna need to download the uh, correct boot image if you're watching this in the future. All right, uh, next, go ahead and hit this build number a bunch of times until it says you're now a developer. Go ahead and hit the back button. Um, now you should have developer options. Go ahead and hit that. Oops. Um, next, what you're gonna do is make sure OEM unlocking is on, like this. Um, mine is should be on, so make sure it's on. OEM unlocking, that's the important thing. That's all you need to worry about uh, right now. Go ahead and power off your phone. All right, next you're gonna go ahead and hold down the volume down button and the power button. Volume down and the power button together until you see this uh, bootloader menu with the Android sticking stomach uh, sticking up. Next, go ahead and connect a USB Type-C cable from your phone to your computer. I'll be using Windows, uh, but uh, it is really easy to do with uh, Mac or Linux. I'll have all the commands and I'll have all the files you need for that also. So just go ahead and follow along. And next, let's go to our computer. All right, guys, next you need to download a bunch of files. So go ahead and download fastboot.zip. I'll have all the files you need to download in one page. So just go there and download all the files. You also need USB driver.zip if you're using Windows. Also, you'll need angler blah blah boot.zip. Now there's this number MDB08K. That should match your build number that uh, you wrote down earlier, hopefully. And if it does not match, go check my site. There might be an updated uh, boot image. Uh, also, go ahead and unzip this. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and unzip it. Oops. All right, go ahead and unzip it. Um, do a right-click copy on uh, boot.img. Go back to the downloads folder into the fast boot folder and do a right-click paste, all right? There's one more thing you gotta download. Uh, it's the twerp and also beta super su blah blah dot zip. Now also the twerp blah blah, uh, twerp blah blah angler.img, do a right-click copy. Go to fastboot folder and also paste. Your fastboot folder should have an extra boot.img and twerp blah blah.img. That's pretty much it for Windows. Uh, go ahead and go to device manager. It's under control panel, hardware and sound and device manager. If you're using Windows or Mac, you don't need drivers. So you can go ahead and skip the step. Uh, you'll see Android with a exclamation mark. Go ahead and double click and hit update driver. Click on browse my computer for driver software. And let me pick from a list of device drivers um, pick show all devices make sure you follow along exactly uh, because otherwise it may not install correctly um, go ahead and browse and go to your download folder and you should have unzipped the USB driver .zip. If you unzip it you'll get a folder called USB driver go ahead and go in there and choose Android win USB uh, .inf. open ok choose Android ADB interface hit next um, say yes um, go ahead and install and this will install the drivers for your Nexus 6P. All right, and you should see, now you should see Android ADB interface just like that. All right, once that's done, you can go ahead and close out of all of it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and actually unlock the bootloader. Go ahead and go to start uh, search and type CMD if you're using Windows. If you're using uh, Linux or Mac, go ahead and open up a terminal. If you don't know how, just go Google it. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and type CD downloads. We're gonna go ahead and type CD fastboot. All right, uh, we're gonna go ahead and unlock the bootloader for Windows is fast boot space flashing space unlock. All right, if you're using Mac or Linux, I'll have uh, the substitution commands you gotta type. So check out my site. So this will erase everything on your phone. Go ahead and hit enter. All right, and it'll say unlock bootloader and um, yes, we'll void your warranty. There's some kind of hardware fuse. So if you do this, you will void your warranty. If you don't wanna do this, um, go click down with the volume down button, hit the power button, and don't void your warranty. Uh, but I don't really care, so I'm gonna go hit the power button. Uh, this will erase everything on your phone, uh, restart everything. 
um, and you'll go back into this here. Go ahead and just hit the uh, power button again. You get this uh, warning every time you reboot now. That's because you have a, a unlock bootloader, but you get that unlock sign. That means your phone has been uh, unlocked. The bootloader has been unlocked. Now we'll be able to actually uh, flash twerp recovery, uh, super SU, all that good stuff. But we're not done yet. Um, let it boot all the way and we will continue this uh, when it's done booting. All right, once it boots up, simply go ahead and sign in. I'm gonna simply skip everything just because I wanna just um, root it and show you this tutorial. You can go ahead and set it up um, any way you like. All right guys, once it's back here, you're gonna go ahead and power your phone off. Go ahead and unplug the cable real quick. You're gonna hold down the volume down and the power button. Yep, let me do this. Volume down and the power button at the same time until you see the fast boot menu again, or the bootloader menu. Go ahead and plug in your cable again. All right, let's go back to our computer and we're gonna go ahead and type fast boot space flash space boot space boot dot IMG, just like that. Hit enter. And this will flash a new boot image. Next, we're gonna go ahead and type fast boot space flash space recovery space twerp blah blah angler dot img all right that's the name of the file here exactly like that all right go ahead and hit enter and this will flash twerp recovery you can go ahead and go back to your phone and hit the start button and we are almost done um so just uh bear with me here all right once we boot it uh we're gonna go ahead and copy over the super su file all right i'm gonna go back to the downloads folder here um go ahead and do right click copy beta super su Go to Nexus 6P. Um, go ahead and paste it anywhere here. It doesn't matter. All right. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, next, we don't need this cable. We're gonna go ahead and do this rest of it here. Let me go ahead and change the camera angle here. All right, next, you're gonna go ahead and power off your phone and put it into bootloader mode again. Go ahead and uh, volume down and the power. All right, when you see this menu, you can actually go down to recovery mode and then hit the power button. All right, and now you should have twerp recovery uh, and you should be able to flash twerp recovery, or super SU, sorry. Give it a second here. All right, um, here we go. Go ahead and swipe to allow modifications. Here you're gonna go to install. Um, go ahead and find the file, the beta super su blah blah dot zip. Swipe to confirm flash. And that's pretty much it guys. This should have fully rooted your phone. Reboot system. And you should have a fully rooted uh, Nexus 6P. I know this method uh, is a little bit different than previous Nexus devices, uh, just because Google has changed how Nexus um, Android 6.0 works. Basically, now you need a modified boot image, you need a modified everything. So it's just more complicated. I don't know why they did this, maybe to make the phone more secure, but uh, we can still root it just fine. And we should have Super SU here running flawless and you should have a fully rooted Nexus 6P. All right, going to your app drawer, you should have Super SU, go ahead and run it. And if you don't see any errors, uh, you should be good to go. Now, if you wanna check that you have full root, you can go ahead and download a Titanium Backup app. Let me go ahead and sign in real quick. All right, to verify you have full root, um, go ahead and download Titanium Backup app. Go ahead and hit open and boom shakalaka you should have uh, see this super user request window. That's pretty much it, folks. I hope you guys uh, had fun rooting your Nexus 6P. If you need help rooting your Nexus 6P, make sure you follow the directions first. If you run into a problem, I'd be happy to help you. You can tweet me at twitter.com slash Z-E-D-O-M-A-X. -E Don't forget to hit the thumbs up for me. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Instagram, Periscope, and as always, stay... <laughs>